Well, from that point there, we travel down south along the border. A Brownsville man with property along the river says he is ready to sell, and he's been ready for a while now. Channel 5's John Paul Barajas explains it's a problem no one else seems to want. Oscar, we're standing on his property that's been on the market for four years now. He said he hasn't had any serious offers, and part of the reason is because if you look down river, there's a group of people standing there. Now, we're unsure if they're trying to cross or just fishing, but either way, he says he's running out of time. 21 acres of land that stretches from the road to the river and two homes wouldn't normally mean you'd have trouble finding buyers. Every day, every night, <clears throat> all times in between, um, I see their vans leaving out of here loaded. Rusty Monsees is talking about people crossing into the country illegally. Within moments of being on his property, we saw it firsthand. A group of what looked like to be 20 piling into a Border Patrol van. The aggravation, the anxiety, and everything else put up with it. And uh, this stuff is shortening the remainder of the time that I've got. Monsees is 71, living alone and battling cancer. <coughs> He says on top of all the illegal activity, he can't keep up with the property. Everyone who's interested ends up passing on his land for safety concerns. Do you think you'll ever be able to sell it with that issue? I don't know. I'm scrambling. Monsees isn't the only person living along the river having this problem. A lot of people don't really want to invest over there because they don't know what's going to happen with the border fence. They don't know if they're going to be on one side or the other. So they're just hesitant to pull the trigger. Craig Grove with Grove Realty explains purchasing land along the river comes with a lot of questions for potential buyers. This has been going on for several years, ever since they really started working on the border wall the first time. Um, you know, the land near the border and the river uh, is kind of almost like a no man's land. It's Grove says for the 10 years he's been in the business, this has been the problem for people looking to sell. Now those People across the border are still standing there, and we don't have an indication on what they're trying to do or what they're doing. But Grove does advise that every piece of property along the river is different. So if you're in a similar situation, he advises you hire an expert realtor or an experienced realtor. Live in Brownsville, John Paul Barajas, Channel 5 News at 6.